This video is how to install a wood stove and chimney through a metal roof. For more detailed instructions, please visit the Cracker Mill website. This wood stove and chimney will be installed in an outbuilding with a metal roof. The metal roof is unpainted. This will make it easier for us to set up our ladders, but be careful if your roof is painted. The stove will be installed in this corner with a cement floor. Here's a view of the finished stove installation. The clearance was set to allow for wallboard. This is a view of the installed chimney above the roof. We start by opening the stove package and referring to the owner's manual for clearances. The roof framing will need to be reframed and cut to allow the chimney to pass through. Next, we find the center of flue and drill up through the roof deck and metal roof. We set up ladders and begin cutting through the metal roof. We use a diamond blade and sheet metal shears to remove the metal roofing material. We use the flashing and measuring tape to lay out the size of the hole to cut. Now we cut through the roof deck and cut out the framing that was in the way. We finish framing below the roof deck to support where we remove some framing. Now we add the support box at the ceiling and make sure it is lined up with our center of flue. We begin final fit of the flashing around our hole. This curb flashing can be cut to match the profile of the metal roof surface. We do a final trimming to make sure we have a good fit. We test fit the flashing with the roofing over the flashing at the top and the curb over the roofing on the bottom. The flashing is now finished and we are ready to install our first section of chimney. When we use a support box we must install the connector adapter before we install the first length. We lower the length down from the roof and secure to the support box. We verify the chimney is level and has proper clearance before we screw down the flashing. We need to reset the ladders to allow us to reach higher and attach the support. The support braces are telescopic. We set them up on the ground before we take them up to the roof. We install the rain cap and support strap on the last section of pipe before taking it to the roof. We place the last section of pipe and connect the support braces. We screw the support bracket to the roof along with some sealant. This is a view of the roof support braces installed. The flashing is screwed to the metal roof and sealed. The flashing is straight and the pipe is level. We use a high quality sealant to seal the flashing to the roof. A wedge is added to help deflect snow away from the flashing. We now attach the connector pipe to the chimney adapter at the support box. The connector is also attached to the stove collar. And now our stove is installed and ready for the first fire. 